today we will set up a new dev container in Visual Studio Code to get the hands on Python special development. I will create it on Windows, but it actually works on every platform which is supported by Docker. As the first thing, open Visual Studio Code. If you don't have it, install it. This is the welcome screen. Let's click open folder and add a new project wherever you want. I'll add it under the git. And let's go tfgg git one. Okay. And click select folder. I'll hide some details for new commerce in. So now we have a folder opened in Visual Studio Code. Now click uh, on the left bottom. You may see a green thing called open a remote window. Click it. And then in the bottom part of the panel that have popped up, you will click add developer uh, dev container conf add dev container configuration files click it and then type python you will see in the list python 3 click it and click 3.11 as the version or if you have uh, another version you want you may choose it but i keep the default one click next thing to do is to select additional features currently we are not gonna use that features so click ok uh, after a while you will see a dev container json but we we'll actually have to do some some editing to this file before um, going on with opening the dev container so let's add a comma after the image and remove the comment on post create command as we want the dev container to install some dependencies using the p3 install command but we have an additional comma here so after the the report on requirements txt and save this file as you may see here you have a new folder in the folder you have created before which is called dev container it contains dev container json and it actually contains the file we have added so the next thing to do is to add the requirements txt and to do that we will we are gonna right click on the explorer pane and click new file uh, create requirements txt here we will add a list of python packages that we will use during the development and uh, i'll add by shape the other one that we will be we will be using is less pi this first one uh, allows us to read and write sh as a shape files the second one will allow us to edit to read mainly less fire for lidar which is actually an era of interest we have. So save the file. And now let's click again in the low part of the screen on the low left and click now the green icon. And now we may click reopen in container. So click reopen in container. You will see here uh, something it's, it's running it's actually composing an image from the docker registry 
and in a few seconds we will see that we will get a refresh to screen where we can actually develop using Python and the the Docker container we we have built. So let's wait a little bit. This is the most portable way to do development. Um, as you can see now, the screen refreshed, and we have here the Docker running, Docker container running. If we click new terminal, we will see that we are inside the Docker instance. If we click on the Docker desktop icon, you will also see we have a new running container, which is with a random name, which is actually connected to a, an image and it's actually running. Uh, so our development environment is isolated from the rest of the operating system. This will allow us to have multiple development environments. It has a few limitations, but we will overcome that in the future. In the future, if we actually need the, the these uh, to work around these limitations. So let's test it. Let's create a new Python file. And to do that, obviously, you need to click new file and Python file or text file. Let's save it, save it first. Let's call it testpy. Let's import both our shape file. Let's let's import both shapefile and pyless. Last pipe, sorry. And let's test. The whole thing print. This is test. Okay. Let's run this file. To run the file, click run and debug as Python file. As you can see, it gets executed. And this is a test, is actually print. If you want to make this run persistent, you may create a launch JSON. So click create a launch JSON in the run and debug tab, click Python file, and then you may edit this running configuration. As actually it is configured to launch the current Python file, but you can change it to always launch the test pi and maybe you want to change the name into test pi so if you run this with a mm, independently on which tab you are it will run test pi which is currently useful if you have a bunch of files you are working on so you never run a wrong file uh, instead of the right one. So this is currently how I set up a Python environment to build scripts for the special use. I hope uh, this is useful to you. Uh, in the next episodes, we will uh, see some good uh, development uh, about your special data in python so thank you for listening and leave me a comment if you like remember to subscribe and see you next